What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Mind Something. If you're new here, my name is Jake and in today's video, GPU prices are dropping. But before we get into the content, if you would do me a favor, hit that like and hit the subscribe if you haven't already. So if you haven't noticed, uh, there's a lot of YouTubers right now talking about price cuts coming for the 4000 series. Uh, we've got a lot of the older series cards like the 6000 series AMD and the 30 series all getting some pretty significant discounts. Um, we see this article here from Video Cards talking about the 4070 uh, getting like a 14% discount from MSRP. And this was specifically in Poland, so it's not like we're seeing that here in the United States. However, we are seeing some pretty good deals coming from Micro Center. If you have one in your area and you can physically walk into a store, then you can take advantage of a $100 Steam gift card with the purchase of any NVIDIA 4000 series GPU, which is pretty significant, I would say. I mean, you know, if you're going to spend 100 bucks on Steam games anyway, then that looks pretty lucrative in my opinion. But, you know, it's... It's hard to say if we're going to see anything below MSRP without some type of gift card for, you know, games or or the credit towards some other peripheral device as opposed to just a straight price cut. But, you know, it's interesting to see where things are going. And I wanted to go over some historical data with you guys uh, just so that we can see firsthand what kind of price drops we're looking at over the last 18 months so i've used this before if you guys aren't familiar with it it is pc part picker and this is trends on video cards and they've added a couple of things since the last time i've looked at this we've got some arc gpus in here as well uh, but you can see the arc gpu price did bottom back in december and early january and we're still above that, but we did get to a point back in late March where it got significantly low. And if you compare that to an A750 over the last 18 months, it looks like the lowest price point we had was back at the end of March. So we've ticked back up a little bit. And it looks like, you know, if I were to guess which direction this trend is going, I would say it would continue to go down. But... You know, I don't have a crystal ball, so we don't know for sure. And then we take a look at the A770. Uh, it's currently about as low as it's been. Maybe slightly lower back sometime around the third week of March. And if we take a look at the 3050, we're still above where we were at the end of March. And if we take a look back at where some of the other GPUs bottomed uh, around October or so, uh, we have come down a little ways, and then the 3060 looks like it's at its lowest point in the last 18 months, with the exception maybe of, well, yeah, I would say it's the lowest point. And then the 3060 Ti, uh, I would say we are almost at the lowest point. The lowest point probably was in November through December of 2021, and then as far as a 3060 Ti, I would say we are as low as we've been. Now this chart on the 3070 looks a little weird because there is a difference between the 3070 and the 3070 LHR variant. And so pricing data for the 3070 looks a little weird, but if we compare it to the LHR version, it looks like it has hit a low, which is roughly about $600 at retail. Now, I should have explained this chart a little bit better for those of you who aren't familiar with it. Um, the solid black line is your average, and then we have some uh, ranges here, and I believe this does include used pricing as well. And if we take a look at the 3070 Ti, uh, it's not quite at its lowest. It's actually picked back up a little bit, but it looks like we got this low sometime around September through October, and we've trended up. But now that we've got a 4070 Ti and a 4080 and a 4090 and a 4070, um, I would expect this to continue to trend down. And then as far as the 3080 is concerned, you can see the 10 gig version 
currently close to its low and then the 3080 10 gig LHR version has actually come back up a little bit since we bottomed out roughly in December and then if we take a look at the 3080 12 gig its price has actually gone up which is interesting and then the 3080 Ti uh, also kind of a weird chart here I'm not sure why this pricing data falls off perhaps they weren't available to sell at all uh, but it looks like they have a little bit more stock and if we compare that to our previous bottom uh, it actually looks like we bottomed at the end of September and we've trended a, a little ways up since then but I still think that we may go down a little bit as the 4000 series are released if we take a look at the 3090, the 3090 is actually trending back up, which is interesting. And same story with the 3090 Ti. And then we have some AMD cards to go over. Actually, we've got the 40 series cards. So you can see the 4070 pricing spiked initially upon release, but it's come back down. And then the 4070 Ti um, looks like it's actually kind of trending up just slightly. And the 4080, uh, it started out quite a bit lower, came up, and has just pretty much gone sideways. And then the 4090 has actually increased in price just slightly over the last six months or so. And then as far as AMD cards, this is where we're really starting to get into the deeper discounts here. So you can see the 6500 XT has picked up a little bit since April began, uh, but its lowest point was definitely in March. And then the 6600 has drastically reduced since, well, I shouldn't say drastically, but it's come down since January. Looks like we're pretty much tied with the bottom, which was in mid-November. And then the 6600 XT is currently at its lowest price in the last 18 months, as well as the 6700 XT. And then also the 6800 now the 6800 XT uh, looks like it is also at the bottom. And then a 6900 XT is up a little bit from its lows back in November. And then the 7900 XT definitely coming down. The 7900 XTX uh, has come up a little bit since launch, but it looks like it's starting to trend down. So... Yeah, I just thought this would be interesting to cover, and I'm curious if you guys are picking up GPUs, and if you are, what GPUs are you purchasing? Please leave your comments down below, and I will see you guys on the next one.